Okay, now you've heard the story of too many cooks in the kitchen, haven't you? Well, this is one cook with too many things going on because behind me I've got the pizza chips that I just almost forgot to take out of the oven but just remembered just in time. And these are the trifle sponges. I used a 16 by, I think it's 11 pan. I've cut them previous to this and I'm actually, and then you just divide them into sort of like uh, a third going across and then, and I'm gonna say that's about four by five ish thereabouts and um and then I, i'm just going to lay them in this pan here now you might say they look a bit thin and actually these um you can do you can make this mixture and i'll explain it in the in the uh cookbook when we get to the cookbook you can you can make this mixture in a smaller pan and you can and cook for a little bit longer and you get a thicker sponge which you then split but what I like to do is I like to make them thinner like this so if you follow the recipe in the book you'll you'll make them thinner like this and then um, what I do then is I simply cut one in half like so and I fill it like so with the preserve of my choice so now it's a nice thick with a juicy thing in the middle and these you lay in the bottom of your trifle. They're going to be soaked in sherry. So if you think they're actually very nice and soft at the moment, and my sister and I, the reason it might look a bit short in that pan is because my sister and I ate a couple just on their own with nothing in them at all. But this, I'm going to just lay them in here and I'm going to freeze them. And they freeze really, really, really well. And so I'm going to freeze them and then just lay a piece of paper towel over that and just lay these down again and uh, and you know so if you want them thicker you just simply make them in a smaller pan always with the lip the, these sponges look a bit thin I know they do but when they're doubled uh, with the with the preserve in the middle they'll be fabulous they'll be really really great and they'll be exactly what we're looking for in a trifle sponge let's do that on the top there and uh, I like to do a few of these at a time so if I double up on the recipe for instance this sponge is made as most good sponges are I think it's got no fat in it whatsoever we whisk the egg whites really really well that's it uh, we whisk the egg whites really really well and we whisk the eggs and the sugar together and then we sort of fold in the flour and we do it gently etc the all of the air in the sponge comes with whisking the egg whites i put sugar on the top in fact maybe i, I don't know if you'll see it oh look a bit there just left out how oh, nice is that i put some sugar icing powdered sugar which i dust all over the top I don't know if you can see that Karen but it looks a bit shiny yes. there and if I tap it can you hear mm -hmm. it's a little crispy on the top which is what a good sponge tribal sponge should be um, in the freezer ready for I think I'm going to make a trifle and a tiramisu tiramisu you can make this into fingers or you can make it in a big pan and cut it into squares you can do whatever you like with it but the basic this is a basic very simple very easy sponge recipe and it only takes probably less than half an hour to make it once you know what you're doing and so that's great rosemary's kitchen uh, we're coming back in a minute to make some marzipan